As the world barely hear about any incredible thing coming from Africa, something incredible is happening in southern parts of the continent in Zimbabwe. Going by the name Maxwell Sangulani Chikumbutso, this vibrant young man has made a groundbreaking invention which is about to make history in the books of ever-known technological inventors. Imagine a world where cars no longer rely on fossil fuels or electricity, drastically reducing carbon emissions and reliance on finite resources, and self-powering electronic and electric appliances. Focusing on transportation and energy, Maxwell Chikambutso's technological invention is centered around a microscopic energy device designed by himself. By converting naturally occurring radio frequencies into pure energy, effectively providing an infinite power source for vehicles, motorbikes, and generators. Maxwell Chikumbutso has made a breakthrough product of his innovation by coming out with a magnificent vehicle known as the Sait. Before this breakthrough, he was an unknown figure, until he caught the world unaware of his technological breakthroughs that seemingly defy the scientific principles known to date. But before going further, Someone may want to know about this young man. Maxwell Chikumbutso comes from Zimbabwe, where he has been all long squeezing his mind, trying different ideas unsuccessfully until he was able to find an incredible thing about airwaves. By discovering that there was boundless energy in the sky in the form of radio waves, this energy is in the form of a microwave that can be transformed into electrical power. After his invention, Chikumbutso at first felt that it was good to tell his secret to the government of Zimbabwe to receive support, but things weren't quite good. After receiving this first backlash, he looked for support elsewhere, until he landed on a Mozambican businessman who trusted him and was willing to inject millions of dollars to translate Maxwell Chikumbutso's ideas into actual electricity generating project that power 300 homes with minimal running costs after incurring initial investment cost. As earlier said, Chikumbutso made his breakthrough by coming out with a magnificent invention. This is the world's first free energy vehicle, a car that requires no fuel, no recharging, and no external input to operate. This invention has made airwaves in Africa and rapidly spreading around the entire world. Seeing him explaining it to the president of Zimbabwe, Mr. Emerson Manangagwa, this vehicle known as the Saith, was developed in partnership with a Chinese company that provided the vehicle shell and essential components. Its energy system grants it an unlimited drive range with a top speed of 220 kilometers per hour. At an estimated manufacturing cost of only $14,000 per unit, making it an affordable and practical solution for mass adoption. The Saith also comes equipped with modern features such as self-parking and an advanced driving system. Leave alone solar power or electric cars, which require periodic charging or direct sunlight. Chikumbutso's technology is free of use anywhere on Earth, a thing which makes it extensively flexible and potentially valuable concerning the future of green energy. Recognizing the significance of this milestone, Zimbabwean President Emerson Manangagwa, recently at State House with Chikumbutso in Harare, applauded his not only beautiful, but also revolutionary work. The President described this invention as a world first, and also emphasized the need to support and nurture such homegrown talent. He lauded the young inventor as an example of the national development mantra. The challenges come into place, including the need for established industries and energy corporations to embrace this technological innovation. Several American professors paid a visit to Chikumbutso and were impressed by his invention and asked the authorities to protect him because his innovation threatened conventional wisdom in city generation. If Chikumbutso's free energy vehicle and its microsonic energy system deliver as promised, the world is soon receiving an energy revolution that redefines transportation, sustainability, and economic independence. 
Maxwell Chikumbuzo has spent and endured challenges with the law because he dared to dream and put his dreams into real-life benefiting projects, which at one point put his life in danger when him and his colleague were poisoned. And he was the only one who survived when trying to look for a platform for this invention in the US. Right now, when the world is struggling to push itself away from fossils, this environmentally friendly technological invention with reasonable costs must be valuable, most especially toppling geopolitics. Maxwell Chikumbuzo's invention is posing a severe threat to the US's geopolitical influence, as it will make Zimbabwe a worldwide sensation in terms of technology, which can make it influence geopolitics. As the major challenge to Chikumbuzo's invention is defying the laws of physics, where science says that one can transform electromagnetic waves into electrical energy, his invention transforms microwaves into electrical energy. Chikumbuzo's invention, which has gone viral, has already sparked global interest, with scientists, engineers and investors closely monitoring his work. Where other global superpowers have been neglecting his work, China has been there to support with housings for the different products while operating on his invention, such as cars, bikes, and televisions, among other devices. As the world is closely monitoring his work, Maxwell Chikumbuzo has already cemented his place in history as one of the most visionary inventors of our time. Maxwell Chikumbuzo for years has raised controversies, but he has never received political and his country endorsement as it was seen just recently. A young man who faced financial constraints, which forced him to drop out of school in Form 2, never dropped his passion for technology. In the late 1990s, he began experimenting with electronics, creating devices such as a radio transmitter, digital navigator, and even a turbine engine, all from scrap metal. The international recognition of Chikumbuzo's work reached new heights when Foster Gamble, producer of the acclaimed Thrive documentary, learned of his innovations. Gamble, along with scientist Niels Rognerud, traveled to Zimbabwe in 2018 to verify the authenticity of Chikumbuzo's technology. After weeks of rigorous testing, Rognerud and his team confirmed that the 500 kW GPM generator functioned as claimed. This momentous event was captured in Thrive 2, a film released on September 26, 2020, translated into 15 languages. Chikumbuso insists that his technology undergone certifications and testing, including ISO standards, FCC approvals, and verification by Zimbabwe's Vehicle Inspection Department, VID. However, no published scientific validation currently exists. For now, the world remains divided between believers and skeptics. If Chikumbuzo's invention can withstand scientific scrutiny and industrial application, it could change the global energy landscape forever. But without peer-reviewed verification, many remain unconvinced, most especially the West. <laughs>